Holy Roman Empire has its roots deeply in Austria. Yeah, Hamburg is Germany. Around the time when it stopped being the Holy Roman Empire. So it's iffy! Yay! Alright, we've got the money now. A settlement has developed and therefore nope. received settlement developed. right under its Village charge. of Danzig. So one thing that they did in this newest patch, they made it so mines have their own guards, they're much harder to take, they have more health, and they're much more expensive because people used to cheese just capturing mines. Uh, it was very easy to cheese that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get a pub in here. I uh, just got to find a spot. Oh god, is the whole place full? Really? Why would you ever start in London? I know there's room in here before. I think they added extra buildings. Probably just because there's so many dynasties, honestly. Uh, I'll worry about that later. I might buy something in there later. I could have one right outside town here. That's a shitty spot, though. I wanted to be in town where they travel. Okay, okay. Let's do, uh, let's do another town. Uh, this, here's Austria. Uh, can't be reached, can't be reached. You used to be able to put one right in there. They changed this whole layout here, which is really inconvenient. Alright, one right by the marketplace. And when my wife is done training, she'll go down here and start working in the other country. <laughs> Back to America's pub. So this is a very hands-off job, having a pub. Um... It's one of the most hands-off ones, actually. Uh, rogues can be super hands-off if you have it set up right. House has expired. Go ahead and have my wife run from Norway to, um, <laughs> to, to Germany. In fact, she's going to swim part of the way, which well, is honestly. awfully impressive. And we're going to just watch her in stop motion run over there. New building has been finished. Hold on, we get to the swimming part soon. Year two. War materials are being offered at favorable prices in a counting house. A settlement has developed. Come on, gotta go fast. Run across the North Sea. Here we go. All right, we have no employees here yet, so we're gonna have to hire some. But we're in debt now because we we didn't have enough to pay wages. Which it happens, whatever. We'll have enough soon. I'm armed. So having charisma and I think rhetoric helps you get more money from uh, working in serving guests here. So we're going to assign the ownership to her and have her serve guests. And that is what she's going to do always. Just like how our guy is basically always serving guests up in Norway. Here I am. When we can, uh, the King of Pints. <laughs> that really should be Christopher Eccleston, King of Pints. Um, we're going to start getting upgrades on that too. Increase the vanity of the people there and stuff like that. The vanity upgrades give them extra charisma, so people are more likely to hire their services and more likely to get them to sell beer. Glorious four frames for a second. Yeah. I think if you have less dynasties and thus less people walking around, um, the frame rate is better when you go super speed like that. So, it happens. Your power was turned off from midnight la last night to 12 p.m. Yeah, I've had that shit happen. Oh, heard the money making noise. Didn't notice us get any money though. No, oh, yeah, apparently we are getting money. Uh, what are we getting money from? Is someone in my pub paying me money? Uh, other pub maybe? 
Okay, good. We are serving some guests in the other pub. Oh, no, this is a red family, and it looks like they're also rogues by their attire. Um, so the red family are rogues right now. They started at age 46, level 1, which is unfortunate for them. Sometimes the AI starts at older ages, which is weird. And their leader is actually walking around with a military escort. Wow. Someone's paranoid. Ooh, to be fair, I'm not even the armed. Sales tax, has been changed. sales tax in London is 30%. Jesus, that's oppressive. Alright. So even when you're not serving anyone, simply if you're trying to serve people, even if no one is in your pub at all, uh, you still will get experience for it. Which is completely overpowered. Is... Alright, we've leveled up our main what? character, which means we can upgrade our pubs when we have the money. We're gonna wait until she can get more constitution, maybe. What's up? Alright, if you two really want to serve, then you're gonna help serve guests. Actually, you know what? No, I'm still gonna have that one do prostitution. The wagon, it creeps. My blade is sharp. Okay. Doesn't matter that I sent her outside to uh, go do solicit to go solicit services. Apparently, she doesn't feel like it today. Okay, whatever. Then you can help serve guests and get us some money that way. When are the people going to revolt? Yeah, but the sales tax? Yeah, that's the highest the sales tax go in this game is 30%, which is insanely shitty if you're, if you're like, um, a craftsman or anything like that, where your whole business model is buy expensive things and then make more expensive things to sell. Uh, we're probably only, like, 20 minutes into the stream. Well, 41 minutes if you count the pre-stream. The pre-stream was just talking and testing, though. So we're getting money a little bit slowly right now, but as we build our charisma and our rhetoric, uh, that'll go up. Right. They're both at four, four and seven for constitution. So they're both fine for constitution for the moment. Um, I want to start building up their charisma and rhetoric now so that they start making more money serving the guests. We can get them to tip higher. The sales tax has been changed. Sales tax in Bergen is 20%. That's where I live. Here in Norway. Sales tax doesn't really affect me very much right now, though, because I'm not selling any goods. So, literally the way it works with the pub, pub is an incredibly unique building. Most rogue buildings are very unique. I don't actually create things and then sell them. Um... It is kind of just assumed that I always have alcohol and, like, red. It's weird. I'm starting uh, to hate the fucking app on my tablet now. It didn't tell me about the, uh, about the stream going live. That's annoying. There will be war. Let's read this. Uh, war between the Hanalistic Legion and Denmark. Denmark. Oh, right. Norway was owned by Denmark at this time, wasn't it? I think it was. Hmm. Uh, in eight hours, our troops gather. Okay. This is where you can do one of those risky things. You gain Imperial fame if you participate in the war. I'm going to participate in this war. Because even if I die, my wife can handle the businesses. So I'm actually going to give it a chance and run over to the armory and uh, volunteer to join the war effort. Let it be so. Because if I succeed, I get Imperial fame. All right. I'm now taking part in the war as a banner officer. I have a high constitution, and I think having some martial arts skills helps, which is how good you are in combat. 
So we're not going to have our control of our guy for a little while, and there is a chance that he might die in this war. I believe, regardless though, I will get Imperial Fame for participating in the war, and the Imperial Fame sticks with my whole family, not just him. So that's very important for when you start becoming like a nobleman. When you get really high up in social ranks, you're going to need that Imperial Fame. Participating in a war is the biggest way to do that. Sword, axe, or bow, MDB. Axe. I like axes. The app is actually really good on my phone. It always lets me know when people go live on Hitbox. It's great. If any of you guys have, um... I, I think it's also on iOS, I don't know. I have an Android phone. But you should get the Hitbox TV application on your phone. Uh, it's free, and it lets you know whenever people you follow are streaming. And it, at least with me, it seems to work pretty often. Shouldn't you have equipped your character with something before sending him off? I believe the army would equip him. Uh, I don't know if having better equipment would increase his odds of survival. It, it very well might. Okay, let's, uh, now that we have a little bit of money. This is our London pub? Okay. First, we want to increase the attractiveness so more customers come in. And we want to also increase the attractiveness and enable gambling so that the patrons can start gambling and we can start making profits off their gambling. Uh, we're likely going to go into debt tonight again. Again, we're going very low risk, low reward to start our crime syndicate. Just by having two pubs. One in, uh... We have one in Austria and one in Norway, but owned by Denmark. So, it basically an occupied Norway. Accounting house is buying exactly. It, my, uh, what? Yeoman Madrai of the Bread family, of the Bread dynasty, is gonna be fist fighting. He got seven constitutions, so he's got some... He is hardcore hard to kill with a martial arts skill of three, so he's decent in a fight. And no dexterity, so he's below average for, like, a soldier, but much hardier than a soldier. Has started to summon the troops uh, to kingdom. There's no turning back. May God be with our brave troops. Diplomacy. The Claff dynasty has changed from neutral to feud, so they're feuding with us. The reason why someone might feud with you is, um, well... I believe one thing it would do is that their your bandits or any kind of criminals you may own will be extra aggressive with your people. We have no diplomacy going on right now. Also, the night passed and we actually managed to pay all of our, our employee wages, even though we only have two employees, so it's not much to pay. So right now, our pub back in Norway, no one's even working at it right now. Um, and the Austrian one, our wife is always here working at. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of charisma built up to help with the funds. See, already she's starting to get money faster. And one unique thing, is this another family that... Yeah, this is another rogue family. The uh, dark brown ones with the griffin head on their crest. Okay. One of my Samsung apps works perfectly, though. Bit windy outside today, pretty cold. Yeah, it's too fucking hot in Toronto right now. Good old Toronto, the only place that people outside of Canada know, and the place that they keep thinking is our capital. Fun fact, Toronto is not the capital of Canada, it just should be. All right, we're building up cash really fast now that we have um, a little bit of charisma going. We definitely need to get that higher. And it is a weak point for rogues. Uh, rogues have the minus symbol for charisma and rhetoric, so it's very expensive for them to get it, which is a shame. How does this always happen? My my ca main character is Catholic, and my wife is Protestant. Uh, Gilia bred. Victory is ours! We won the war! Um... We, the Council of Hansa Chairman, hereby proclaim, proudly announce that our troops have caused the Kingdom of Denmark a devastating defeat. Apparently, 
We count as part of the council. Okay, so we won. Holy shit, that's weird. I get, apparently uh, Norway at the point at this point in time was a part of the council. Uh, our tax collectors will soon collect the debts and will be uh, and we will then fairly and justly distribute them amongst the towns and dynasties involved. Which means we just got a huge lump sum of cash for participating in a winning side of the war. So the war debts of the enemy were brought to us. We just got a huge amount of money. And uh, we're still unknown in Imperial fame. It was worth it for the quick cash, though. So our guy will be coming home. We survived the war and got a lot of money for it. That's awesome. We'll use that money to start upgrading our place some more. We can get some employees down here. So we're not working alone. What? Hmm. We'll wait till they come in. You say Vancouver is a contender for the capital? It is not nearly as relevant to the Canadian economy as Toronto is the thing. The church tithe. Has All right, serve guests. Serve guests. All right, now we have uh, a full, more full staff going in our Austrian pub. I'm armed. And uh, Yeoman Madrybred is still not home from the war. He's on his way back. Seems like your wife is a witch. She walked straight through a table. That happens a lot in this game. Often you'll see just people fused together. Court sentencing has been changed. Where is the enemy? Okay. So, what we want to save up for now. And now what? I'm I don't remember anymore how much money I need for another promotion in ranking from yeoman to I believe it's citizen without full rights is the next one. So, yeah, going to have to give that some time and see how that goes. Hmm? Well, right now I'm mostly concerned with waiting for my uh, main guy to come back. Disposition righteous, because we are not known to be a criminal. We're just running. Right now, our pubs are actually completely legal. Uh, we are not selling any illegal alcohols, and gambling is legal. So we're actually committing no crimes right now. We have not committed a single crime. So everything we're doing right now is on the up and up. We are the Guild Master of the Rogues, which helps our guild reputation. We're already known in there. We are the Guild Master of the Rogues simply because we are the most profitable rogues on the map right now. Which goes to show uh, how profitable low risk, low reward can be, as long as you set it up just right. Later, we will be going into the harder crimes, as we really build up the foundation of our, of our, of our crime syndicate. I just want to start small and make sure that our foundation has a strong backbone. You know, uh, make sure that no matter what happens, even if like all of our waylayers die and everything, we still have really stable money coming in through my through the pub business. Yeah, the default lines get annoying. And now what? Often you hear, where's the enemy? Or I'm armed, even if you're not armed. List of champions. Okay, we do have a drinking champion and a gambling champion in the King of Pints. And how about at America's pub? No champions chosen yet. Yeah, we get a lot more traffic in the Hansa here. Uh, which, to be fair, uh, in Austria, way more people live here. This is the imperial capital of the Hansa game map, is uh, Hamburg here. So it naturally has the biggest population, and thus you tend to get the most money here from something like a pub where it's all about people coming to you rather than selling to a market. Non-aggression pact and neutral. Yeah, we started with a non-aggression pact, weirdly enough. Uh, we have no non-aggression pacts or allies left. Everyone's either neutral or enemy. Yeah, one of our enemies is in jail. Rogue level 4. 
Guildmaster of the Rogues where they live, huh? Well, I'm probably the only rogue where I live. That guy's still coming back from the war. I forgot how long it takes. 